on. Hey everybody, <laughs> welcome to week 21 of <laughs> Shift Happens! Hey, we in the picture? Here we are. Alright, we're back here in the back, we're wearing red, uh, because today is Valentine's Day, so you're getting this two days after, and um, when it was, Dr. Matt said, hey, let's wear red, and I was like, I don't own red. And so, <laughs> thank you honey for going out and getting me red, I love you. Thank you, Sean. Um, even more exciting that before we get into what we're going into, um, well, it's kind of what we're tied into, I guess. We're talking yeah. about that. Mm -hmm. um, just, I just got a text from from teenager, my super daughter, Blaker. I love you, which is the reason I do what I do. Just got done giving her presentation at school today on the flu vaccine. Awesome. And, and it was pretty cool on the flu vaccine or not. And, and it was very funny because as she started to put her research together, it was really interesting. She started to get ticked. And it was like, Dad, can you believe they're doing this? And then all of a sudden she started researching things. And um, you know what? All I can say is um, be aware because she's going to be out there practicing chiropractic and <laughs> be a little bit more nuts than her dad is. And I love that. So so driving in this morning, I'm driving in. It's about 4.15 this morning. And before I hit play on my CD player this morning, I was listening to Dean DePice uh, talk about the 33 principles of chiropractic. And uh, there was a, CD, a commercial on there from the CDC about the flu vaccine. Which is amazing. It's the middle of February, and we're still talking flu vaccine. Well, they still have some left over. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. Okay. That's what made Blake mad. She goes, I don't get it. They're saying that the mercury in there, she found out how toxic the mercury was in there, and it really ticked her off. And she's like, Dad, they can't even throw this stuff away without being toxic, but they put it into your body. So anyway, so they're at the end of this commercial, and this is what it said. The best way to be healthy is get your flu vaccine. And I thought... Ah, the best way to be healthy. So I got to thinking. Okay, go ahead. Okay. So you can eat. You actually all interrupted. The crap you that want. was pretty good. <laughs> you can eat all the crap you want. You can never exercise. You can sit on your butt and watch TV and movies all day. Yes. But as long as you get the vaccine, you're good. Well, and that's what amazed me. I thought to myself, man, I've been going to the gym two or three, about three times a week now <laughs> for a year, and all I had to do is get the flu vaccine, which is not true. So this is what we're leading into, and this is what just slayed me. It was like. Our, our, our definition of health is, is, is incredible. I don't know if you can see behind us, but I'm going to read this to you. Subluxation is a sign that an individual is stressed beyond their limits, your gap, the general adaptive potential, not to the point of death, but enough that they cannot fully function. The results, this results in a compromised nerve system function and a diminished quality of life. That's health. Health doesn't come from a shot. Health comes from a fully functioning nerve system your body functioning properly. You live your life through this nerve system. Dr. Matt has got some great keys he's gonna go through to help you redefine what health is. But the best way to achieve health is not from the flu shot. The best way to achieve health is, ta-da! One big thing. And I'm gonna step off camera so I can shut this off. Oh, so, all right. All right, it's all yours, One dude. One big thing is regular chiropractic care because those subluxations create such a diminished quality of life in every aspect. Unfortunately, subluxations are caused by mental, mental, physical, chemical, all these different stresses in our body and our life that cause these issues. And you know, chiropractic's the only way to get rid of those subluxations to unleash the power that's within you. So, a couple more tips is that. Uh, you know that 95% of America does not get enough fruits and vegetables. 95%, 19 out of 20 people don't get enough. How about you? No, so, I know I do because I think my wife. I had blueberries this morning. Good for you, Dr. Coach. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, another thing is water. Unfortunately, a lot of America mistakes thirst for hunger. So instead of drinking more water, they eat something. And this is where obesity, hypertension, all these things are running rampant in our society. So, tip for water. If take your body weight, divide by two, that's how many ounces you should have every day. Okay? Good tip. Another thing, very simply, exercise daily. A bunch of different things you can do. Instead of taking the elevator, take the stairs. Or if you're parking real close to a building, park 20 more spots away. You know what? That extra 120 steps is going to make a massive difference in you and your life. So, uh, stay positive, have a purpose in your life, get some sleep, and every once in a while, take a deep breath, breathe normally, your body needs oxygen, your body needs nutrients. Okay? So, from all of us... Uh, and then journaling. Let's talk about journaling. Journaling. Daily journaling, you know? It helps keep you focused on your life. You do different things during your day, why don't you write them down? That way you can keep track of them. 
so you can learn from what you did or what you didn't do. And Dr. Cook's come back. And the gratitude journal. Take every night before when you go to bed, take your journal out, write down here, wait, up, down, here we go. Three things that you're grateful for, that you traded this day in for. And it's incredible to go back and look at it. So, thank you guys. That was week 21. We'll see you next week.